today, and we continue to see improvements as we even head into the afternoon. So That's good. overall, mm -hmm. looking pretty good. As we look outside right now at our Canadian smoke forecast, we've got some of that still in our area for the next couple of hours, but we were at that green, which is kind of the middle of that pollutant concentration scale, indicating how much smoke is in the air. So we were seeing medium levels kind of as we look towards this larger scale. Now we're on the lighter end, but even middle to late part of the morning. And then we'll likely see the smoke entirely clear out, at least for a period of time today. We'll get some smoke here and there over the next couple of days, but overall things looking a lot better and we have a huge improvement as we're going into the second half of the week. Now we just watch as things get more humid. So we've got code yellow air quality today and some spots will see orange air quality, which is that unhealthy for sensitive groups spot. And we're even seeing that already this morning. But over the next couple of days, we focus on the humidity and the severe storm chance for today and tomorrow. Here's a look at first warning radar network. Temperatures are in the 70s right now. As we look towards our northern part of our forecast area, we've got some rain, heavy rain. In fact, this caused some flooding concerns in Patrick County early this morning. There still could be some and ponding on some of those uh, local streets, side streets, neighborhood streets, things like that. But overall, as we're looking towards our main highways, they should be good. As we look north, though, we have some of that heavy rain still and also some lightning. I also want to show you the southern portion of our forecast area, the far southern portion. We've got some of that rain there. But I also want to tell you what's happening in Charlotte right now because you might be headed out to the airport or headed down south on 85 or 77. And I'm thinking we've got some ponding on roads. As we look out at first warning radar network, we can see heavy downpours down there. And we had some hail that moved through Mecklenburg County. It's now moving out of the area. But of course, if you are headed down south or if you're headed to the beach midweek, you might want to be aware of that. Our severe storm threat is a level one today. It's because of the damaging wind threat as well as large hail. Damaging winds will be 60 miles per hour or higher within a thunderstorm. That's the issue, both with those storms that we have moving through this morning and then another wave this afternoon. Large hail is large hail that's like hail that's large enough that it could cause damage. And then as we look towards the heavy rain threat, also seeing ponding on roads being possible for that second wave of rain and then frequent lightning. Of course, anytime we've got a summer forecast with summer storms, that's a concern. Concern. But you can see those scattered showers and storms moving out of our area by the middle part of the morning. By late morning, we're dry. We get that break into the afternoon. We end up with some more showers and storms. So now this is one of those things where not everybody will see rain, but if you do, it could be kind of intense. That's what we're tracking into the later part of the day. That second afternoon rain threat will actually strengthen and intensify as it heads out of our forecast area. But for us, there is a chance that we end up with some strong to severe storms headed into the day for your Thursday. That's that's another threat for strong to severe storms as we head into the later part of the day, afternoon and evening. So for some of us, the southern portion of our forecast area tomorrow, that'll be a level two threat for severe storms. Most of us will be at that level one threat once more, though. Here's a look at Friday. Things finally calming down as we head into the weekend. Our 12 hour forecast for today, though, takes us into the upper 80s. Humid dew points are starting to climb and they continue to climb into this weekend. Thursday, Friday going to be very, very humid as well. That thunder threat later in the day after that mid to late morning break into the afternoon. Still a bit hazy in the foothills and the mountains at times. Temperatures in the mid 80s there and in the mountains we've got temperatures in the mid 70s, 8 to 12 mile per hour winds and occasional showers and storms as we head through the day today. Here's your seven day forecast impact day for Wednesday and for Thursday because of that severe risk that humidity climbing Thursday and Friday as well. You will notice it. It will feel very hot, very uncomfortably hot on Friday. We'll be talking about heat index and heat safety. Some showers and storms for this weekend also, but also a little bit cooler as we head into that part of the week. Up, a former Wake Forest star is on the move where he'll continue.